Okay, so now my project is published as a .oam, which is the file we need to add to uh, to our Adobe Muse website. So it's actually right here, right in here, and it and it outputted a few other um, files. Don't don't really worry about those too much. You just need this Mother's Day .oam file or whatever you named your um, your .oam file or when you published it, whatever you named it um, when you were. Yeah, publishing your edge animate animation. So this is the file we'll be adding to Adobe Muse. So now I'm going to go back to Adobe Muse. I'm going to go to File, New Site. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to double click on Home. And all I need to do for this is just click, hold, and drag this Mother's Day .oam file onto my Adobe Muse website. And perfect, there it is. Looks really nice. All right, so now if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. You can see everything looks great. I really like this uh, this effect or this idea of, of adding Edge Animate to Adobe Muse because you can add a lot of interest to your website. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add a menu so that when you scroll, the menu sticks to the top and we're going to add a pattern to the background here. So I'm just gonna go to my Adobe Muse website here. Okay, so I actually downloaded a pattern from the patternlibrary.com and the one I downloaded was, oops, let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, I downloaded this one. Uh, it kind of has that nice blue, kind of matches the site. So to add that to the background, we just go to Browser Fill, and we click on Add Image, and I have it right over here somewhere. Yep, right here. And there's that nice pattern to the background. So if I hit Command-Shift-E, we have that nice pattern there looks really good all right so now I want to add my menu so I'm just going to go to object insert widget menu horizontal and I'll just place that right in there perfect and I'm going to add three menu items to this so to change from so to be able to add excuse me um, yeah so to be, be able to add menu items manually you just click on the circle with the blue arrow and uh, you go to where it says menu type you click on manual instead of top level pages so you can man manually add uh, menu items instead of Muse automatically selecting them from your plan view in your top level pages so I'll select manual and we can leave edit together there uh, checked for now so now I'll just hit the plus symbol a few times looks good and I'm just gonna copy this menu and paste it over here and put it on the right okay so that looks good, and I'm going to rename these menu items. So I'll say home, um, greetings, or invitations. That looks fine. Um, about and services and contact. All right, just some kind of menu items there. And I'm going to change the fill of these menu items to the fill of this animation so I, go, I select both menu items and I can hold down shift to select both I go to fill and for color I select I can select the sample color tool and just select those actually that didn't work out too well yeah we have to select the menu item excuse me so you select you click once and click again to select one menu item then you go to fill the color drop down select the sample color tool and sample that blue there and I'll do it for this one here as well I'll click once and then I'll click again then I'll go to the fill drop down, select the sample color, and sample this blue. That looks very good. And I want to make these menus a little bit more in height. And actually, yeah, I'll make them like 50 in height. Very good. And I'm going to create a rectangle here in the background so it's a solid blue. So I'll select the rectangle tool and just create a rectangle. Yeah, let's do let's do 70 pixels in height. There we go. Fill the rectangle with this color here. So I select the sample color tool. Yeah, go to fill drop down, select the sample color tool, select that blue. Then I'll bring this uh, rectangle. I'll line it up all the way to the bottom of this of this animation. And to bring it to the back, I'll right click, click arrange, and send to back. All right, and let's make these menus all the the same size as that rectangle in the background. And I want to fill this rectangle here uh, with the heart so it matches kind of the theme of the animation. So I select that rectangle that I created, uh, kind of sele selecting in the middle there so I, so I don't select either menu. Then I go to fill, 
I click on add image and then I have that image of the heart here. So I'll scale to fit and position it in the center there. Perfect. Then I'll make these menu items a little bit smaller so that heart is there. Looks good. And we want to make the menus the same size so we have the same kind of uh, evenness on both sides. And now I'll change the font of the menus. So I'm going to change it to uh, Perret 1 and I'll make it uh, 18 in size or we'll do 24. Looks good. And same here. Say it, set it to Perret 1, uh, 24. There we go. So it looks nice and big. And I also want to set the background of these, um, excuse me, of these menu items to white. So I just select the menu in its entirety. I go to fill, select the drop down, and then select white. So now we have kind of a white border there. And to add the border to this last menu item on the right, we just want to make sure that we've selected that menu item. Where it says edit, where uh, we'll go to the menu options by clicking the blue circle with the arrow. And then where it says edit together, you just uncheck. And then you go to stroke. And here you unlink all the strokes. And now I just want to add a stroke to the right. So it's a stroke of two. So I'll add that. And I'll set the stroke color to white. Yeah, to white there. Very good. And the same thing for this menu here on the right. We'll set the fill to white. We'll first select the entire menu. Yeah. And then we set the fill to white. And then I'll go here to the about menu item. Uh, uh, excuse me, on the blue circle with the arrow, the menu options, I'll click that. I'll uncheck edit together. And then I'll go to stroke. And now we want the we want to unlink all the strokes and we want to add two pixels to the left stroke and we want to set it to white. All right, there we go. So that looks good. We have kind of like lines dividing each of the sections so that the user knows that these are different menu items. And now we want to add a rollover effect uh, to these menu items because if we hit command shift E to preview in the browser, you can see it's a gray rollover. I kind of want it to be kind of that pink rollover. So I select the menu item and now actually I want to select the whole menu in the circle with the arrow. I'll select there and now I want to edit together so I don't have to go to each individual menu item and edit each menu item. So now if I just select one menu item and I go to states and I select rollover, we can see it's that gray. So to change that, I just go to the fill and I select the color drop down next to fill, select the sample color tool and select this pink there. Very good. And I'll go to this menu item. Again, I'll go to the menu options, click edit together, select the first menu item here, click on rollover where it says fill. So uh, click on the drop down next to fill, select the sample color tool and select that pink there. All right, very good. So now if I hit command shift E to preview in the browser, we have that nice menu. Okay, so we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is make sure that when the menu hits the top that it stays to the top. So to do that, we simply select, um, actually we can select both menus here. We'll hold down shift to select everything. So we have these both menu, both of these menus selected and we want this uh, rectangle that we created with the heart in the middle selected as well. And we can right click and click on group. So now this is grouped as one thing and we can select the whole thing. We can go to scroll effects here to the right on my Adobe Muse uh, panels here to the right. We can select motion. So I've selected motion. And to make sure that the menu stays uh, stays fixed to the top when it gets to that point, we want to make sure that this key position here is all the way at the top of the menu. Perfect. And you should see like a, a line telling you that it's at the top of that uh, menu and that rectangle and everything there. So that's good. And so now what we want to do is have an initial scroll speed of one. We don't want it to scroll left and right, so I'll set that to zero. And the final motion, we want zero. We want it set to zero for everything. So up and down zero and left and right zero because we don't want it to go left and right. So that's pretty much it. Initial motion one, up and down, no left and right motion set to zero. We have the key position right on top of the of the menu so that when that key position hits the top of the browser, it'll click into the final motion, which is zero, and just stay uh, fixed at the top, kind of yeah, stuck to the top there of the browser. So those are set to zero. So to see that effect in play, we have to add more scroll space so that we can scroll all the way up. So I'll just grab this marker here and bring it down to add more scroll space. And I'll hit Command Shift E. And if I scroll up, 
we can see that menu sticks to the top. We have that nice animation. We scroll up and that menu sticks to the top there. Looks really good. And one last thing, uh, we'll add some kind of, yeah, I guess decoration or some more styling to this menu. So I actually uh, have a kind of, mm, I don't know what to call it, kind of like a fringe, I guess, um, to add to the top of the menu. And yeah, it's, it's, I called it a menu trim, and this is it right here. I find I found it from freepick.com as well. I just typed in like lines or something, and it came out with those fringes. So um, to do that, I'm gonna create a rectangle, and I'm just gonna draw one here at the bottom. And I'm going to fill this rectangle with that trim. So I'm going to go to fill right up here. I'm going to go to image, click add image, and I'm going to select menu trim two. And I'm going to scale to, uh, yeah, scale to fit, posi position it in the center. And I'll just make this rectangle a little bit bigger so that, it, so that the whole fringe fits in the rectangle. Yeah, that's why I scaled it to fit so that it just fits perfectly in the rectangle. All right, so now I just want to bring this up a little bit and I want to bring this to the back so it goes behind the menu. So I just right click, arrange, um, and send to back. There we go. So I, again, I right clicked and arrange and yeah, and I sent to back. So now if we scoot this up, we can align it perfectly with the bottom of the menu there. And I can use my arrow keys to kind of bring it down and make sure that it's perfect there. So that looks, that looks really good there. So the last thing we need to do is set the same scroll motion that we set for um, for for this, or we can actually just group everything together again. So I'll select this rectangle. I'll select this these items here. Right click and click on group. So we have to set the motion again. So I'll just click on motion and the initial motion up and down one, no left and right motion. We want to set the key position. It was 714. And, or we can just grab the key position here and just set it to the top of the menu. Perfect. And the final motion, we want to set everything to zero. All right, so I just redid the motion again, the scroll motion, because I grouped it with um, with that trim there at the bottom. So so it, had, it added another element, so it lost the scroll motion, but we just did it again. The initial motion up and down was one, no left and right motion. And yeah, remember to check off the motion here. So initial motion up and down one, no left and right motion, the key position 714, so it's right on top of the menu. And the final motion zero and zero. We don't want it to move up and down or left and right. We want it to just stay stuck to the top of the browser. Okay, very good. So now I'll hit Command Shift E and I'll scroll up and perfect. So we have that interesting menu there. We have that rollover. Very nice. And we kind of, you can put a logo there if you want. And great, looks really good. We have a great animation, can add a lot of interest to the website. We have the wings moving, the tail moving, we have the hearts moving, we have the heartbeat there in the middle. And it's a great, you know, Happy Mother's Day website. Um, you know, you can make a Happy Mother's Day website for, I don't know, greeting cards or something interesting like that. Or just to, you know, make a website for your mom, that'd be cool too. So you scroll up, stay stuck to the top, have that nice menu, and then you can add more things here. You know, you can add like a rectangle and or images and things of that sort. Oops, kind of like that. Oops, and just add more elements to your website. If you scroll down, you could have like something there. Yeah, and just be sure to. Um, arrange, send to back. You want to make sure that it goes behind everything. Oops. Command Shift E. Yeah, there you go. So it can go behind the menu, and it just keeps scrolling up. So the menu stays at stays at the top. Excuse me, stays at the top, and you have different elements on your website going going up, and you could even link the menu items to those different sections on the website, and just have a one page scrolling menu. All right, so that looks good. Uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I was really happy to create this tutorial. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's a lot of fun and can add, excuse me, and it can add a, a lot of interest to your website. So again, we used Edge Animate, uh, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we used images from freepick.com, and yeah, we used Adobe Muse um, to create this website. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. 
Uh, if you like this video tutorial, please subscribe below. Um, you'll get access to the Emus for You private community. Uh, also in the uh, description area below are links to download Adobe Muse. Um, there's links to paid resources like hosting, uh, Dollar Photo Club where you can get amazing images for $1. And there's links to widgets that you can uh, purchase at musethemes.com. They have amazing widgets to add a lot of interest and functionality to your Adobe Muse website. And um, yeah, there's a few other links. There's a links to museforyoushop.com, the you know my website. Um, so check that out. And you know that kind of has my website starter kit. And there's also free resources in the description area below. And there's links to my social media down there as well. So thanks again for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks. Bye.